Grandpa, why does your knee always hurt? Were you able to run and play before? It might be hard to remember when there were no creaky knees, elbow pain, and the bad back so common in old age. But, the source of this stiffness and pain is more than just old age. The culprit, arthritis. A condition that causes inflammation and pain in the joints, and according to the CDC, one in four adults suffers from it. But, are stiff and creaky joints really inevitable? What makes arthritis so pervasive? And, why the current treatments tackle specific symptoms rather than the underlying causes? Maybe we need an approach that reunites humanity with our natural healing abilities. The first hurdle is understanding. We often think of arthritis as a single condition, but it is actually a spectrum of over 100 different arthritic conditions. All these conditions share symptoms of joint pain and inflammation, but the origin and severity of those symptoms can widely vary. Even the most common type, osteoarthritis, might be trickier than one might think. The origins of osteoarthritis can often be traced to any seemingly an ordinary joint injury. Immune cells rush in to help clean and repair the damaged site, and begin pumping out enzymes. These enzymes clear out the damaged tissue and contribute to inflammation. But while this rapid swelling helps protect the joint during recovery, inadequately healed tissue can cause these immune cells to overstay. The continuing flood of enzymes starts to degrade the cartilage, weakening the joint and leading to arthritis later on. Another common type, rheumatoid arthritis, is also correlated to the immune system functioning. It is actually an autoimmune disease in which antibodies target proteins secreted by cartilage cells. We still don't know what causes this behavior, but the result is that the body treats joint tissue like a foreign invader. Another condition, spondyloarthritis, has similarities to both of the conditions we've covered. Patients experience continuous inflammation in the joints and at the sites where ligaments and tendons attach to bones. This can occur even without any initial injury. As a result, a flood of enzymes and degradation occur as it does in osteoarthritis. As the enzymes eat away at cartilage, the body attempts to stabilize smaller joints by fusing them together. Regardless of the origin or severity, the immune system plays an important role in these diseases. So, why do common approaches only target symptoms and don't help the immune system functioning? In fact, there are plenty of options to choose from. In Germany, the number one joint health pill is a formulation which supports immune processes that naturally occur in the human body. Other formulations based on arnica and curcumin have also shown potential benefits. So, what joint health pill is right for you? Take this free 60 second quiz to find out. And, in order to get you more motivated in your health journey, we'd like to give you three surprises after completing the quiz. So, go ahead and take this free quiz. What joint health pill is right for you?